Good morning, our colleges. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And salam sejahtera untuk kita sekalian. For the first, I would like to introduce myself. I am Ahmad Rudianto, Professor of Internal Medicine in the Faculty of Faculty Medicine of Brabijaya University. Today, I will talk about the <coughs> Biomolecular mechanism links between adipocyte, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. You know, when the obesity and metabolic syndrome are two of the most health problems in the world, including Indonesia, they are very difficult to control due to many risk factors that involve to as determinant in this disease. Both obesity and metabolic syndrome close related to the development of type 2 diabetic mellitus, cardiovascular diseases, and with high mortality and cost. So, when we know well according to the pan pathology mechanism, link mechanism of uh, metabolic syndrome, obesity, and fat, or adipocyte, we can control both condition better than we don't know about the basic sciences. My topics I will divide it into four uh, subtopic. First is the definition itself about metabolic syndrome and obesity. And the second about the obesity development process. The third is metabolic syndrome, obesity link clinically in clinic. And the last is the about molecular mechanism links of metabolic syndrome, obesity, and adipocyte. Now we will talk uh, first about the metabolic syndrome and obesity definition. Before we continue to discussing about the metabolic syndrome, I will explain about the what is the meaning of the syndrome itself. Met metabolic syndrome, but syndrome. Syndrome is a group of sign or symptom as a factor that found in one person to develop one disease. In, when we talk about the metabolic syndrome, there are five factors including visceral obesity, hypertension, insulin resistance, hypertigy, uh, or trichlisnemia, and level of SGL. All the five uh, factors that may uh, be found in the metabolic syndrome persons potentially lead to the development of cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes. And of uh, to, to, to dianus metabolic syndrome is not necessarily all five factors to be found in a person with metabolic syndrome. We just need uh, three factors in one person and then we can see <coughs> that the person suffers from the metabolic syndrome. In this photo, we can see the illustration of central obesity. In the photos, <coughs> you only see that there is a large waist circumference. This, this, is, uh, this photo is specific uh, type of obesity in person with metabolic syndrome. So when you uh, see the person with uh, obesity with type like this, it means the central obesity, please think about the possibility metabolic syndrome in that person. And we must try to find out the five factors that may be found in this person. To diagnosis metabolic syndrome, we just need three factors that must be found in the person, in the patient, not fully five factors. So when one person, uh, any one person, we found three, three factors, we can say that this person suffers from the metabolic syndrome. Uh, disabled, so you, uh, uh, according to the how to, how to, deny, to diagnose metabolic syndrome in one person or in one patient, many international organizations, open health groups, uh, such as, International Diabetes, uh, sorry, 
World Health Organization, International Development Federation, ATP3, Bernard Group, or the others, we are looking to this table, and then we know that all organization panel stated that <coughs> we must fund three of the five factor be found in the patient, including the existence of central obesity, insulin resistance, hypertension, and low LDL or high TG. Please remember, and we are looking to this table, and <coughs> we focus on the waste sites. In this table, just only stated according to the waste circumference in calculation ethnicity not ASEAN because uh, there is differences between with uh, circumference for ASEAN ethnicity in scale compared to the Caucasian ethnicity. I think in the next table we, you can see a difference of uh, to scale. <coughs> when we are looking to this table proposed by ITF on 2006, we can see about the difference between the circumference in Caucasian and the Asian. In the Caucasian, uh, someone said to be centrally obese, when they have a uh, circumference, circumference equal or more than <coughs> 94 centimeter for male and 80 from centimeter for women. But in Asian, can be say as a obese when W C for male more or equal to ninety centimeter and for female more or equal to eighty centimeter. So, so uh, we can see here that the differences between two scale for the conversion of the European ethnicity with the ASEAN. There are some factors that may involve in the development of the metabolic syndrome that we call it uh, as a risk factor. There are also five risk factors. First is genetic, the second is race and gender, the third age, mother, then probability of the development of metabolic syndrome will be increased of with and obesity or obesity and insulin resistance. The first of uh, three of the test factors, genetic, race, and gender and age, we can do nothing for, for, for these uh, factors. It means that we can uh, modify three of this factor. But for overweight, obesity, and insulin resistance, maybe we can do something to modify this factor better. And some references said that overweight and obesity are also very likely to be prevented not just only we can do something to uh, to control but also we can prevent the development of overweight and obesity then we talk according to the what is really obesity double <coughs> world health organization who organization stated that <coughs> Obesity or overweight as a abnormal or excessive uh, fat accumulation that may be promote the risk of health. It means that we must aware to this condition when we can prevent it. So the possibility to the uh, unhealthy condition will also be can prevent it. Usually, usually, we use body mass index or BMI 
to screen our which our offices our office and we uh, in this slide we can see that for the asian people when pmi more than 23 indicate that this person uh, going to the office and when more than 27.5 going to the office is different with the uh, with the Caucasian overweight when they have a BMI 25 to 29.9 for an office when BMI more than 30. But actually, PMI is not the uh, indicator true obesity, just only to identify that someone suffers from overweight or obesity. The use of measurement of the circumference with circumference. Is better anthropometric indicator for visceral fat obesity and better predictor for development of metabolic syndrome. So, <coughs> when we have a patient and then to see PMM more than for, for Indonesian people, more than, more than uh, 25, we think that is uh, going to the Obese, but also we must measure according to the base circumference because actually, with the same scale of BMI, with the scale of number of BMI, maybe someone become obese and the others not. I will show you the illustration in the next slide. The problem is the increasing prevalence of OCD or <coughs> part of the world. Based on the Indonesian Basic Health Research, we call it as risk test data, we can see that the prevalence of OVID is increasing from 9 in 2007 to 12 in 2013 and going up to 13% in 2018. Also for the prevalence of obesity, which rose from 11, uh, sorry, 11% 11 in 2007, going to the 15% in 2013, and also going up again until 22% in 2018. Actually, this data gives us a warning about the big health problem that may be We'll facing in the, uh, we, we will facing in the future, considering that post condition obesity and overweight and may do as a risk factor for many health problems. So, uh, for example, for hypertension, type two diabetes, and and the others. I will show the table. I will show you the table um, to show you that there is a difference. Criteria of obesity based on BMI in Caucasian and in ASEAN. The blue color is a BMI scale for the Caucasian. The green color is for BMI. And we can see here that for ASEAN people, when BMI range of 18.5 to 23, it is normal. But when <clears throat> more than 23, the person became overweight or obese. It's very different with the Caucasian. Is called overweight when BMI more than 25 and obese when <clears throat> a BMI more than equal to those, uh, 30 kilograms per over meter square. In the next slide, maybe I'll show you the illustration, but with the same BME, with the same BN, BMI in two person, maybe. One person is called obese, the other is not obese. And after we say that some people suffer from obese, then we must also uh, more detail 
about the type of obesity because there are two, there, there are two type of obesity. One is apple shape obesity. The other is pear shape obesity. The apple obesity is very related with the accumulation of fat tissue in the belly. So <clears throat> the uh, the people became uh, the person became, became uh, have central obesity. This is the, <clears throat> the illustration. When we only use BMI as indicator of weight or obesity, both men have same BMI but with different type of obesity. The left side, so the man was obese, but in the right side, the man was not, was not obese. The man who obese has small visceral fat mass and strongly associated with the uh, insulin resistant allocrate chronic inflammatory that may lead to the uh, development of membrane syndrome and CVT. The right man is not obese and likely minimal risk to, development, uh, to develop metabolic syndrome and CVT.